Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick update on my five and a half year old reef tank. I'm going to first show you some new rasses I added to my tank. I'm going to also give you an update on my LED color spectrum experiment and then we're going to check out the state of my SPS collection. Hello and welcome back everyone to the Bio Reef. Hope you all had a great holiday break. My Red Sea Reefer 250 is turning five and a half years old this December. It's been running fairly smoothly over the past few months and I'm seeing some explosions in SPS growth, which you'll get to see at the end of this video. My current parameters are alkalinity 8.5 dKH, calcium at 422 parts per million, magnesium is at 1370 parts per million, nitrates are about 1 ppm, and phosphates about 0.07 ppm. I did add two new rasses to the Red Sea Reefer 250. I added a Naoko ras called Dr. No and a Melanaris ras called Mel. Both fish were fully quarantined using Copper Safe and were treated with API General Cure. If you haven't already checked out my video on how to quarantine rasses, I'm going to leave a link up on the corner here. After Copper, the Naoko ras got a really nasty bacterial infection and I treated him with a combination of Freon 2 and Canaplex. Uh, both rasses were in a non-medicated observation tank and the plan was to essentially move them directly to my new system which is due to arrive sometime in January 2022. However, I couldn't resist getting a new leopard ras, so I needed my observation tank so I've decided to move both the Melanaris and the Naoko to my Red Sea Reefer 250. I did this uh, using an acclimation box uh, as I was a, a little bit worried about bullying from the clownfish Blenny and the Royal Grandma. Uh, but uh, so far so good, aside from uh, a few charges here and there, the new fish seems, seem to be getting along and eating and looking really good. The Nakoras is really cool, he has some uh, very neat flashing pattern which uh, unfortunately I haven't been able to get video footage of yet. Uh, but I'll definitely try to get some because it's just kind of insane. He has this uh, really cool like dorsal fin. It looks like a <laughs> it looks like a shark. So I'll, I'll definitely try to get video of that soon. Okay, let's check out my SPS collection while I tell you a bit about my LED color spectrum experiment. So about three months ago, I discovered that WWC runs their own variant on the SPS AP Plus program. From what I gathered by searching the reefing forms and uh, watching a BRS video, it seems like WWC runs the AP Plus program for half the day and then they run an old blue spectrum for the other half. I always ran the AB Plus program on my system, but I was curious, so uh, I switched to the WWC program and I took uh, good pictures of my SPS before I implemented this change. I did a summary of what I found after running the WWC program for about a month. A uh, link to this video is up on the corner here. Uh, I couldn't really see a big difference in color, but I did certainly notice a big spurt in SPS growth. The plan was to initially switch back right away to AP Plus program and see what changes, but then I decided to kind of modify the experiment to study coral growth a little bit more. So what I did is I cut two one inch green slimer frags and put them in a specific position in my tank when it was still running the WWC program. I initially measured the weight of these frags and I kept them growing under the WWC spectrum for about a month. And at this point I weighted uh, the frags again to get a sense of the growth rate. And then I switched my LED back to AB plus program and I've been giving my tank a month or so to adjust to this new spectrum uh, and the plan is to then cut more one inch green slimer frags and put them in the same position as the other frags and let them kind of grow for another month and then get a sense of the growth rate of the green slimer frags in my system under the AB plus program. So I'm planning to do a final video update on this experiment in January 2022. So there you'll be able to see pictures of the SPS at the start of the experiment when I was running AB plus. You get to see how the corals changed, uh, if at all, after about two months of uh, running the WWC spectrum. And then pictures of the same corals two months after switching from the WWC to AB plus. So we have like AB plus, WWC, and then back to AB plus. Then I'm going to show you if there was any big differences in the growth rates of my SPS frags when they were when I was running the AB plus program relative to the WWC spectrum. 
Okay, uh, that's it for this video. I'm working on a couple of other exciting videos for uh, early 2022, including one on my tank's microbiome and a little experiment about potential contaminants in dry rock. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. Wishing you all the best for 2022. Uh, please stay safe and enjoy your reef.